Okay, so we are going to just blaze through a lot of this stuff. This video is going to be about what we're going to expect from chapter one, which is on the time of this video releasing tomorrow. Uh, this is Sunday, so it's two days from now. Anyways, we got some information today, actually, and tomorrow we get the balance, uh, the actual patch notes of what's going to happen inside the game. Jesse will be streaming it. I think it's at like three, maybe 4 p.m. Eastern. Anyways, I'm not going to go over everything that we possibly know about this patch because I do have videos of that. And we'll, I'll go over it, but it won't be in like supreme depth. We'll put the links in the description below. But uh, this we're going to go over like there are map changes. There are balance changes. There are quest changes. There are everything about everything that's going to happen. Um, I'm going to speculate about all of them and show you some images and do all that stuff. So, um, yeah. So right off the gate, we know from back in, when was that? So we know from a month ago that we do have balance changes coming in, thankfully, coming into chapter one. We do have balance changes that are coming, uh, mainly because Lewis, Tacos, he did some long feedback, Master Mimala, just did some long feedback about like just how the current state of the game felt and, and stuff like that. And we hadn't had balance changes at this time in like five months, minus a few Tempest changes uh, on release, but really we hadn't had anything for a very, very long time. And so we do know that there are balance changes coming thank the heavens because it's been a very long time and very stale for quite a while because of that before i keep going but we, pro we probably would have had some kind of uh balance changes if they didn't have to wait for certain times between all of the platforms anyways we do have balance changes coming for recovery pyro frostborn tempest lightning ice stone and a bunch of other things uh touch a very variety of ways so i'm just gonna go ahead and say that recovery is probably gonna get nerfed it's a very very good talent and it doesn't really allow space for one of the new newer talents that they brought into the game to kind of have room. It kind of feels like the current talent that they brought in, which is ambidextrous, should have been more of a powerhouse, but recovery is so good at the moment that it just didn't really matter and people still choose recovery. Uh, ambidextrous is a super fun talent, but it's not really a competitive talent, if that makes sense, in most places. Uh, and that brings me to Pyro, because I use ambidextrous on Tempest to play fire, which gives me the, 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 the first talent or the first class skill, which is combust. It gives you the ignite and is the overall splash damage that everyone complains about. I would assume that that splash damage is probably going to go down. I wouldn't assume that they're going to change ignite and the splash damage, the, the combust radius itself at the same time, but they might. I, I, I highly doubt that. But I, I do think that it's it's going to be just the, the, the radius itself. We do know that they're going to have six conflagration fireballs in the change as well. I don't think I'm a very big fan of that, but um, it is what it is. Frostborn, I don't, I don't really know what they're going to do. Maybe speed up alacrity, maybe maybe give you more damage. I don't I don't really know what they're going to change except for like change an entire skill in in that maybe it make icicle. I don't know. I I, I don't know. I, I've been trying to like think about what they could do to it to make it better with the current skills inside of it. And besides like giving you more zoom, and more damage, or I, I don't know what they could possibly do. Uh, Tempest. Tempest needs more horizontal movement. We don't know what we're going to get with that. I really, really, really hope they take that stupid sound off of Squall because we don't need to know when we're on the ground as a, as a Tempest. It's like telling a toxicologist just like, hey, you're no longer invisible. Here's a sound, bing. You know, like I, I know that I'm not invisible. Like I know I'm on the ground. Like I don't, I don't need to know that. Lightning. I just really hope they they kind of bring the damage down. We don't need like this insanely fast a near hit scan. It's, ne it's not really near hit scan, but for this game it is. We don't really need that ice. I, I mean, we touched this on this in the frost. Where I don't really know what they were gonna do to ice specifically. Maybe give you like relax. Like they're gonna relax on that, how much mana it takes. I don't, I don't know what they're gonna do with ice. It's super strange. Maybe damage reduction. Maybe damage. It's in a weird spot. So I don't really know. Stone, we need so badly for the pathing for stone to just be like, I understand where it's coming from. Like, I know what's going to happen. It's predictable. Like, I need, like, all the other gauntlets, I'm pretty much predicting. You, like, it's, it's very predictable to see what's going to happen when they fire at you, right? Stone is not that way. You don't really know how it's going to react to the ground that you're on or where, where you're near. It has a very wide hitbox. I don't think it needs to be so wide. And if it was to stay that wide, then maybe make the damage for full right in the middle and then taper it off on the sides. As far as other balance changes, I think, like, everything's pretty much fine. Fine. I, I do. I do think that they're going to touch the shadow step ability, the carrying of the momentum. It's a little bit overturned. I don't think that's on purpose. I think it just like it just copied it from Dash. Uh, I think they're going to clamp that again. So prepare for that. Keep that in expectations. While we're on the subject of balance and expectations for for this patch, some of this stuff might come out not how we want it, not how they want it, not how people just in general feel about 
things, you've got to keep in mind that there are more than one platform. We've got Epic, we've got Steam now, we've got Xbox, we've got PlayStation, we've got Nintendo. And with Xbox and PlayStation, we've got two consoles for each. So really, we've got seven, I don't know if that's how it works with those two, but we've got seven technical platforms now. So things can't just be implemented. You just gotta keep that in mind that if there is something on launch that, that isn't correct, or shouldn't be in there, they have to wait until they have a bigger, a chunkier amount of things that they can put into the game. Speaking of things that they're gonna put into the game, we do know that there are match changes and we actually got some information today, again, it's Sunday, about some of those match changes. map changes. We do have, originally we saw this in the IGN article, um, we do know that Bogmore is getting a revamp and holy hell, it looks insane. It just looks so big. And it, like, if you look at these, like these, these lanterns and stuff, this is where you walk. Like your, your character is going to be this roughly the same size as my cursor in some of these areas. And if I had to guess, this is actually something that we saw yesterday or the day before in a, in a wallpaper dump that they gave us, which is my wallpaper right here. So this area that is on my wallpaper, I assume is gonna be this right here. We don't really know, but I don't really see anywhere else. Maybe it's like one of these smaller ones, but this one's glowing and from the bottom, these are glowing only from the top. I would assume that she is up on this, this large thing, which brings you to the point that a lot of people think this is gonna be like a reboot station or like a way to bring your, your teammates back to life. I saw this theory on Reddit. I don't think you should expect that from this. Uh, you could, it could be very well that that's where you, you go, but I don't understand why they would only have one. Maybe they have like really high points in other places as well, but I, I, I just wouldn't expect that right now. I think it's just a cool picture of, of a character doing some research on top of a, an, of, of a thing. Here's some more of this, of the Bogmore. Here's one of the character skins that we're going to get. I think this is actually a new skin as well. I've never actually seen this. It's got like glowing parts in it. Uh, that's not just from the lightning gauntlet, but uh, yeah, I think some more of Bogmore. Two more skins. We've, we've gone over these in the past. Um, this is actually, I think this is going to be the final level. They keep putting him in this very center of a lot of their promotions right now. We do have three images and we've got this one, which is very interesting because it's the new skin and it has lightning around him, right? Or arcane or something. He doesn't have a gauntlet on and he has arcane stuff here, which probably is just because he doesn't have a gauntlet. Honestly, it's probably just like a creative decision they made to make him just have his arcane ability. I don't think that's anything specifically pointing to a new gauntlet or anything like that. But this is this is new map changes. So this is again, we're, we're in this spot right here. And then we've got this one as well. Um, this one makes me think they're finally bringing in floating rocks. We uh, haven't really seen this specifically. We did see a picture a few days ago of the wall at Bogmore, Bogmore's Dread Curtain, a massive wall. And it does have some floating rocks and in itself in one of these in one of these renderings is floating. So we don't really know what's coming and which one of these they truly chose. The only thing that we kind of can see is that they did, it's very similar, right? It, it's, it is on the ground. However, there are chunks broken off. There, there, there is stuff, I'm, I would assume you can probably land on these. I don't know if you can. Um, I don't know why you wouldn't be able to. And again, it's gonna be on the edge of Bogmore. We don't know if this is to the rest of the map or to the edge of the map, but I, I mean, Either way, I'm fucking excited because we've wanted this kind of thing in the past. And if they have floating rocks, then that means they can have floating areas of the map as well later on. So that's as much as we know of the, about the map changes currently. I wouldn't be surprised if they change other aspects of the map, like little tiny areas. We actually, we do know in the top uh, northwest of the Bogmore region, when you go into Halsey and there's a castle right there. And uh, we do know that that is gonna be different as well based on a video from IGN, which we can watch here in a second. But we do know that there are gonna be small or castle changes, I would assume that other things are going to be as well uh, as they go and probably um, throughout the thing. Seth did say, I was I was, I was actually talking to Seth, uh, I got to play with him and Captain Tramie. Things in this game will change as the chapter goes on. We don't know specifically what that means when it comes to map stuff, but he did say the map will change. There are some things that are going to change uh, within the first week of that. And, and we do know the first three quests for the story. By the way, the story quest line is going to be free for everybody. The honor quest line is going to be built into the battle pass, the chapter pass. Uh, which is gonna be three quests per week. Seth did confirm that in the IGN article, he says three per chapter um, for story and honor, which is not true. It's three per week per story, three per week per honor slash chapter quests. So, and then you've got your dailies. You've got three dailies each time as well. So in the IGN article, what those chapter, the, those first quests are, uh, that I got to play during the virtual preview event were all based around research. You're trying to discover as much information as you can about the storms and objects surrounding them. Well, it's kind of confusing that he says storms. 
Uh, anyways, the first quest takes us, uh, t tasks us with making it through two of the storm phases for research, or in other words, simply make it to the second fully closed circle to complete a quest. We've got to remember that these quests are going to be one that a brand new player can, that a brand new player can, can, can finish. The second one is going to be one that, um, more of an intermediate player can finish. And then the third one's probably going to be something that like more in depth, more people who are involved in the game who want to actually finish things can actually work towards to finish. So they're not all going to be hard. Some of them are going to be easy, like making it to the second storm circle. Are these portals? Okay, and then, and then you got the second one, which is after that, we had to interact with three triangular portals, freaking Doritos, because I'll show you a picture of them in a second. These portals were interested, were interesting because they would only spawn inside the spell storms themselves. So not inside the safe zone. You have to actually travel outside of the spell storm themselves to, to actually interact with them. And Seth did say that these will be there constantly. So it's gonna be like a way for you to get out of the storm from, from the way that I see it, which is cool. They're adding like small things they're innovating the, the battle royale genre themselves. So once the circle starts closing, you had to keep an eye out for the outer edge of the zone and actually venture into the storm to interact with the portals, uh, which would then teleport you into the sky and redrop you down into the zone. Strategically, it was pretty useful regardless of the quest objective. So it's cool that they added something into the quest that and then brings into a whole nother realm of playability within the game outside of the quest instead of just being like, oh, the quest is in and done, right? And the final bit of the narrative content in chapter one required us to erect five arcane barometers around the Aegis Tower, Aegis, Aegis Towers in the map. I don't know where those towers are, but I would have kind of assume that that might be those like five circles that we see that, that, that introduced on launch. Uh, I don't really know if there's only five of those. There might be six, seven, four, three. I don't really know how many of those are. I probably should have counted, but I would assume that's probably what those are. I don't know for a fact. Oh, also we have a new screen for quests so we can actually go in uh, and, and and see what's going to happen in the storyline, blah, 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 all that stuff. So that's kind of interesting. And here's the Dorito uh, that I was talking about, the Rift on the outside of the storm, which is kind of cool. That's actually, it's pretty sick, right? So with 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 the with the quests, and it's gonna be in, some of them are gonna be inside the chapter, some of them are not. Um, then you've got your dailies. You gotta remember, we also are going to be able to upgrade our themed skins. So like our pyro skin, our conduit skins, our toxicologist, stone shaper, frostborn, tempest, uh, all of the skins. They're gonna be able to upgrade. We don't know which ones or if all of them in this specific chapter, but we are going to be able to upgrade them uh, within the chapter. We don't know if it's through the store side or if it's through the quests side in the chapter uh, like in the paddle pass like the honor that parks gonna be dope and 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 part of that uh, is we also no longer have the founders packs however I have a theory they're gonna be bringing new packs in and that's because of this right here at first I thought that this was going to be built into the uh, the chapter but all of the promotion that we've seen so far about the chapter doesn't have these images in here and what which images I'm talking about are these two too. I have a theory that you're going to be able to buy new currency packs like the founders packs and this is going to be probably the top tier one and this is probably going to be the second tier one we don't really know but the only reason my only theory really because of that is because there's gold in the back right I do think that we're going to be able to do that and when it comes to possibilities we could possibly be getting all sorts of things in this in this patch I'm going to go over some things that I, I think personally we aren't going to get yet and that would be I don't think we're gonna get a new game mode. I don't think we're gonna be getting ranked or a skill-based matchmaking. Maybe we might get like a little bit of a bump in the level-based matchmaking, but I don't think we're gonna get that quite yet at the beginning of chapter one. I do have a theory we might be getting a new game mode halfway through just to kind of give us a little bit more content boost. Um, and the same thing with the rank system or the skill-based matchmaking, we might get that later on with the game mode, who knows? I don't think that that's gonna come right off the rip with the chapter one. I mean, we, we, I don't think we're gonna get that right off the bat. I think it's gonna be more along the lines of like mid mid chapter one or beginning of chapter two. Uh, I also don't think that chapter one is going to be like that beefy outside of like the quests and stuff. I think that's going to be more along the lines of chapter two when we could potentially be getting guilds. Uh, like I said in here, the ranked mode, a new game, a new game mode. I just don't think this, this, this chapter is, a lot of people think this chapter is going to be like the make or break for spell break. I don't think this is going to be that, that much of a giant push in the right direction that every single person wants. We do know, however, that they are going to be doing sponsored streams. Um, we know for a fact that they have sponsored Cypher to do streams next week. He did a little event on Friday that showed the, the new trailer, which we'll get into that in one second, which is super exciting, actually. Uh, we, we, he did get to do that, but that was not actually sponsored. That was because he loves the game and he they asked him to do it and he said, sure. So uh, we do know though, that he is going to be doing sponsored streams next week. And he did say streams. I talked to him a little bit in DMs um, about possibly playing. So that'd be kind of sick as well, which means they most likely 
likely will be doing other people as well. Uh, I would be looking out next week is going to be kind of crazy or tomorrow, I guess, when you see this video. It's gonna be kind of crazy. So it's not gonna be a lot of content, but there are gonna be a lot more players. It's gonna make it feel more full, feel like there's more things to do instead of it being like the same thing over and over and over and over and over again, the same meta over and over and over again. The meta is gonna be a little bit different. However, let's well go ahead and watch this video. All right, so I wanna, I wanna stop this. Um, if you haven't seen this video, I'll put it in the link in, in the description. So, um, but off the rip, we do know that there are creatures in the Hololands. There's a raven, bro, I'm pretty sure it's probably a raven. There were also, I want to, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna talk about this right now, we're gonna talk about this later, but um, um, I do believe that the whole point of this chapter is so that we can do research to unlock a new gauntlet. I'm not gonna talk about which gauntlet I think it is yet. Um, I will explain that as we go a little bit, but I'm not gonna talk about it. I will point out some certain things and maybe you can, you can decipher it yourself. But um, definitely, if you wanna watch that video, it's probably gonna be the next one. I'm probably gonna play chapter one a little bit. Uh, I will definitely be playing on Tuesday, not a little bit from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern. So if you want to catch that out, it's in the stream, twitch.tv slash it's OP. However, that video will come out next. So if you want to catch it, subscribe or not, doesn't matter to me, but um, please do that if you want to watch this video uh, or you can just pop in whenever. But um, I will go over some certain things in here. Like there were, there was a lot of wildlife. We know that there's not wildlife right now. A lot of people want wildlife into the game. Um, however, because of the spell storm and, and all of that stuff that came in, it did wipe out all living things. And that's in the lore. If you want to read the lore, go to the Wikipedia, but. If we're ever to return to our homelands, the spellstorm must be stopped. But its power is only increasing over time. If this continues, Velnor itself will be destroyed. All right, we're gonna break it down like 30 seconds at a time or like scene at a time. My theory has to do with the spell wall um, being made of something specific. If we're uh, ever which to is return, sort of how here, and she also talks about the, the area being called Velnor. If this continues, Velnor itself will be. Velnor. Obviously, she's not in the Hololands right now. I, I'm, I'm almost positive. Also, this is Avira, by the way. She's a person from the the, tra the tutorial. She's looking in the water, or like the little thing. Uh, I think she's in Velnor, watching over, deciding what to do. Velnor, I think, is the planet. I could be wrong. Um, that they're on, uh, and the Hololands is a fraction of that or a part of that. Send in the new initiates. We are the new initiates, by the way. They're saying send in the new initiates. That's us. We must determine the cause of the storm. We must determine the cause of the storm. My, that's the whole premise of chapter one. Here we go, flying in. I think this is very interesting, actually. There's water. I didn't notice this earlier. There's water everywhere. Okay, then we get to this part. This is the part that everyone is curious about. What's in the box? Obviously, I'm, I'm, I, I don't really, we don't know anything about it. My thought though is that there is a gauntlet in this box. Um, everyone is saying arcane, could be, could be, could be, could be something else. Um, there's some evidence of a different kind of gauntlet and um, I'm not gonna talk about it this time. You can subscribe for the next video, but um, we'll get into it later. But there is a lot of stuff in this video. So the whole, so my theory about this video, and, and a lot of people are giving it a lot of slack for, there's not a lot here, there's not a lot there. I think that like, there's some stuff in here, but the whole point of this video is just to get you excited for the, the season. It's not really to show off anything, it's to get you start thinking about what's in this box. Um, and I don't think we're gonna know what's in this box until the very end of the chapter, which is 12 weeks from tomorrow. So I don't think we're gonna know the answer to that question. And I think that's gonna be the whole buildup for this thing. So I think we're gonna get the new gauntlet or whatever's in this box, I'm pretty honest. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a gauntlet, it might not, be. We could be completely fooled. Seth said that it's it's a, it's a coffin for for good old Raven because he gets demolished right here. Um, but I do th I do think it's gonna be a new gauntlet. Um, I don't know what what we're gonna be doing to do that. But the whole thing we have to do research um, to find out the source of the storm. So I think what we, when we find the source the source of the storm, we find out that there's a gauntlet that's created that's that's kind of with it. Um, but yeah, you'll have to you'll you'll have to see that one later. And then obviously you've got the three skins. This is why I think those other bundles are are also bundles and not part of the battle pass at all. If there's anything you guys think 
that I missed or I need to touch on or anything like that, please send me uh, in, the, in the comments or in stream or on Twitter or on Instagram, literally anywhere. It's all it's OP. Actually, I think YouTube is OP. Luckily, you're here. Everything else is it's OP. Um, but uh, like like if you have a theory about what's in that box or what gauntlet we're going to get or what element we're going to get, um, we do know that there is the next the next gauntlet is going to be made out of an element that's already in the game, which leaves us with seven elements the normal six and then arcane. So it doesn't mean we don't have a variation of those elements that is coming, but uh, like I said, you'll have to find out more about that later. Guys, I love you. If you have any kind of anything that you wanna talk about, hit me up. Have a good day. Peace.